are you excited to start a new week? Me too. All right, let's start by singing our good morning song. Are you ready? All right, let's hear your beautiful singing voices. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning. So I want to know how you are doing today. Can you tell me how you're doing today? Great job. So today I'm feeling, I feel pretty green today. I feel pretty happy. Again, I had a good breakfast. I had a nice sleep. Yeah, I feel pretty good today. It's also a nice day outside. Not as nice as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty nice. So let's say good morning to Mr. Sean, and we'll say good morning to Theo, who I'm sure you can hear in the background. <laughs> Great job. And we'll say good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. All right, let's get started. So today is a, is a whole new month we learned about on Friday. It's called M M May. And we are going to do some really fun activities this month. So this whole week, we're going to talk about Mother's Day and we're going to make something for our moms. It's going to take multiple steps. It's really complicated. So we're going to have to do a little bit each day to get our gift done for mom and our card done for mom. But I think that we can do a really good job of that. Are you ready to work really hard this week? Great. But before we can get started on that, we have to figure out what day of the week it is. So let's see your two fingers and your five fingers just like this. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Are you ready to sing the song in French? All right, let's do it. Get out those seven fingers again. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Dimanche, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Great job. So today is m m Monday, or it's lundi. Hi, can you say Monday? <laughs> Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday, and we're going to have some yeah. fun. All right. So we have to put up Saturday and Sunday and Monday in our calendar over here. I want you to grab your pointers and let's head over there and count together. Are you ready? All right, so we have to start at number one. One, two, three, four. That's right. What number is it today? It's number four. Good job. So we would write our day on the board like this. M Monday. And then remember, it's May, not April. So we would write M, May. And then what was the number we counted to today? That's right, it was number four. So we'd write four. So we would say Monday, May four. Excellent. All right, so we figured out the date. And now we have to figure out the weather. So let's sing our song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? 
Great job. So let's talk about the weather today. The weather is pretty nice, but it's a little bit cloudy. So I'm going to put the clouds up and then the sun over here. Our panda is going to wear his shoes. And his pants. His sweater. And I think he's good for the day. Maybe he'll put his baseball hat on. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Excellent. All right. So I have a story all about mummies to read to you today. Are you ready to hear my story about mummies? Great. So show me how we sit crisscross applesauce with our hands in our lap and our listening ears turned on. I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. All right, so who is on the front of my storybook? Do you know? Do you know who this is? This is Llama Llama. Yeah. So my book is called Llama Llama, Mrs. Mama. He looks pretty sad, doesn't he? Llama Llama, warm in bed. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Llama school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. Make the bed and find some clothes. Brush the teeth and blow the nose. Eat some breakfast, clean the plate. Whoops, oh my, we're running late. Uh-oh. So is Llama Llama starting school today? He is, it's his very first day of school. Drive to school and park the car. Tell the teacher who you are. Meet new faces, hear new names. See new places, watch new games. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama Llama, feeling shy. Mama Llama goes away, but Llama Llama has to stay. So when we get dropped off at school, our mamas, they go, right? And then we have to stay at school. Yeah. Sometimes that can make us feel sad. Does Llama Llama feel sad? He does. How do we know that he's feeling sad? Yes, his face is sad. His eyes are sad. Strange new teacher. Strange new toys. Lots of kids and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks. Make a rocket from a box. Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama walks away instead. So he's feeling so shy, he doesn't want to play with the other kids. Here's a little chug -a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like a ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. Reading stories on the rug, kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would the llama like to look? Llama Llama doesn't like that book. Hmm. He's getting grumpy, isn't he? Time for lunch. Now find a seat. Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? Why did she have to go? That's right, because moms don't come to school. It's too much for little llama. Llama, llama, misses mama. So he's feeling really sad here. Are his other friends noticing that he's feeling sad? They might be. <gasps> Teacher says, don't be sad, new little llama. It's okay to miss your mama. 
But don't forget, when day is through, she will come right back for you. Llama, llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Aw, so his friends are getting him to smile. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse. Try the slide. Peg and jump rope. Hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Is Llama Llama having a better day now? Oh, he is. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big crayons, colors bright. Take some paper from the stack. <gasps> Who's here? Mama Llama, you came back. So did mom come back for him? Yeah, she sure did. Teacher gets a goodbye hug. Wave to friends on reading rug. Climb the playhouse with the slide. See if mama fits inside. Lots to show and lots to say. Back again another day. Llama finds out something new. He loves mama and school too. The end. Is that a good book? Yeah, it was a good book. So it's all about how little llama learns to go to school without mom, right? And we love our moms so much that we're going to celebrate them on Mother's Day next Sunday. So this week we are going to take some time and we are going to make some Mother's Day gifts. So today's activity. You are going to need to start making a necklace and also start the card. So inside your kit that I dropped off, we are going to get out this little package right here. This is all I need today from this. And inside, there are some pieces. So you are going to need this. You are going to need your gem. Now, there were butterflies and hearts and flowers. So you need your little gem like this. And that's all we're going to use for our necklace craft right now. There is also a string in here that you're going to need later and some beads, but we're not going to use those right now. So you can close this back up and put it aside. We're also going to use some paper from that kit, but I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to get my tray and I have a couple different things on here that I don't need right away. So I don't need my paint. I don't need my roller and my paintbrush and I don't need my water yet. So all I have today is my model magic, the little gem, mine is a blue flower, and then the little paintbrush I gave you in the first kit, you're going to, in the second kit, you're going to need that. So today you are going to open up your model magic. You might need help from mom or dad. Depends on how tricky these are to open. We'll see if I can get it. I might need my scissors. Mr. Sean, can you grab me some scissors? Oh, Mr. Sean's gonna open it for me. All right, so while Mr. Sean is opening that for me, I am gonna show you what we're gonna do. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my model magic. So inside your package of model magic, it looks just like, come on. Oh, it's sticky. It looks like this, okay? We don't need all of this. We only need about half, maybe a little bit less. So you're going to Put this in a safe place in a Ziploc baggie so it's airtight because you can use it for a different craft later. But you can met, um, squish this one up into a ball. You don't need a whole lot. And then you can either use your fingers or you might use mom's rolling pin from the kitchen. I'm going to use the Play-Doh rolling pin. And I'm just going to roll it out a little bit. I'm going to flip it over and roll it out some more. This is actually still a little too big, so I'm going to take some off and I'm going to squish it up again. You really don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. There, that's probably a little bit better. So let's use a rolling pin to roll it out. And I want you to get something kind of the size of a toonie 
or maybe a little bit bigger. So this is how thick it is, and that's how big it is. That's a pretty good size. I might shape it a little bit more just to give it a little bit more depth, but you don't have to do anything. Just roll it out flat, easy peasy. Okay, so now I have my shape for my necklace and it looks very beautiful. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take that gem and I'm going to push it. I'm gonna find the perfect spot for it and I'm gonna push it down. You don't need to push it so hard that it goes through, just enough that it makes a nice indentation. And then carefully peel it back out. So you see, I made a little indentation there for my gem. And then you're gonna take the end, mummies and daddies might have to help you, of your paintbrush, and you're just gonna make a hole in the top. So this is where the string is gonna go through. So it doesn't need to be super big, but you do need to make sure that it goes all the way through. And I like to go both ways just to make sure that it stays open because as this dries, it is definitely going to shrink up. So I round it out a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure this gem is, yep, that's good. Okay, peel that back out. And then we're done with this step. So we are going to take these things and we are going to put them aside and we are not going to do anything with them until tomorrow. So you're just going to let this dry. So it needs to sit out overnight for about 12 hours. Longer is better, but it needs at least 12 hours. Okay, next step. So I don't need those things, so I'm gonna put them down there. I am going to go back into my craft kit and I'm going to get one full sheet of paper. So there's a couple of pieces of blank paper. Whoops. And I'm going to take a blank sheet. Now, I only need half of this today, which means I'm going to either cut it or rip it in half. I'm going to rip it. Mummies and daddies might cut it, but I want you to practice folding it in half. So you're gonna line up the edges and then you're gonna fold it. And I'm going to use my nails to flatten it out. time and then I'm going to carefully rip it now mummies and daddies will probably help you use scissors to cut it but I am just going to rip it so now I have half a sheet of paper I'm going to paint this sheet of paper we are going to not tomorrow but on Wednesday use cups and circular objects to trace circles on here. But today, I am going to paint it. Now, if I painted it with regular tempera paint, it would be quite globby. And it's important that this dries, so we need to make sure it's a little bit thin. So I'm gonna use a little bit of water to water down my paint. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I don't need a whole lot. So I'm just gonna paint some pink, and then I'm gonna, dip it in the water and I'm gonna get some purple. And you have to cover the whole sheet. I want you to try covering the whole sheet of paper. So the other method you can use is you can use the, the magic watercolors where you um, use markers on tin foil and then a little bit of water. But you'd need to make sure that the marker was quite thick or the color was quite thick to make this work properly for how I want you to do it. I'm just gonna keep going. And then a little bit of yellow. Now, with the paints I gave you on the weekend, you can use a little bowl or a dish to do some color mixing. So I gave you primary color, so red, and I gave you yellow, and I gave you um, blue. And then I gave you some white. So you could make pink with a little bit of red and white, you could make purple with a little bit of blue, red, and white. So I want you to experiment mixing those paints if you want, otherwise you can use the markers. So there, I'm all done. So now I'm going to let this dry, just like that. And then I'll show you on Wednesday what we're gonna do with it. So we are making mommies a necklace, a beautiful gem necklace, and then we're also making them a beautiful flower card. So that's what we're doing. So we've done step one of both our necklace and our card. 
And we will do step two of our necklace tomorrow, which involves painting it. So we have to make sure it gets dried overnight. So that's why we need to let it sit out. But make sure you put the extra Model Magic in a Ziploc baggie so that it stays nice and soft for your next project. All right. Excellent. Great work. So the other activities today I want you to do, I want you to do some pond exploration. So in the bin I gave you were some pond rocks. Pull this out. Some pond rocks and some frogs. And I want you to play around with those today. So put the rocks in the bottom of your bin, fill it up with water, do some scooping and pouring. Um, I want you to play with the frogs a little bit and uh, just kind of get used to the pond because we're going to do a lot of stuff with the pond this month. We're going to learn a lot of things about different animals. But this week, we really are focusing on Mother's Day, but have fun playing with the pond. All right. So all I have left for you today is the magic box. And I put something really fun in the magic box today. So let's see if we can figure out what's inside. Are you ready? Great. Let's get out the magic box. Okay. Jason wants to know, how do you play with it? Hmm. I blow on it. Hmm. Colton wants to know, is it blue? There is blue on it. Yes. It is also white and pink. Okay. So... To play with it, I blow on it. It's white, pink, and blue. Where do you keep it? So in my classroom, I keep it. This one I keep over in my um, pencil holder on my counter, but I also have one in the calm down kit. Hmm. So in order to play with it, I blow on it. It is blue, but it's also pink and white. I keep it over on my counter or in my calm down bin. And then what does it do? Uh, it helps calm me down sometimes. It's pretty to look at and it's fun to play with. I really like it. You might see them in gardens. People put them in their gardens all the time um, because if you, aren't blowing on it, the wind might blow on it and move it. Okay, so in order to play with it, you blow on it or the wind blows on it. It is blue, but it's also pink and white. It's kept on the counter or in my calm down kit or people have them in their gardens. And it's just pretty to look at and helps me feel calm when I'm using it. Hmm, have you figured out what's inside my magic box yet? Let's see, if you guessed that I had a pinwheel inside my magic box, you would be right. See, I feel calmer already. Awesome. All right, friends. So the only other thing I wanna to talk to you about is our Zoom meetings. So I have a couple of games we're gonna start playing um, I have an alphabet bingo game. I have a zones of regulation jeopardy game. And then I also have a really fun kind of hide and seek game that we can play with my flat Miss Tracy. So I'm really excited for those this week. On Thursday, we are having our glow stick dance party. So make sure you are practicing your moves. I have a whole bunch of new songs we're going to dance to. And I can't wait to see everyone tomorrow. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Let's get out our working hands. Are you ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.